Looks like Jace Gill, a lot of smoke coming out of the back of that mod cart already. Easton Sleeper gonna take, uh, gonna take the lead, the whole shot. Gill already falling off the pace with some smoke, so maybe some issues happening with that cart. Yeah, definitely off the pace, like you said, and here comes Holger. Johnny Holger already up towards the front. Easton Sleeper, like I said earlier when I was announcing who was in this nice mod cart race, he had some engine failure yesterday, so they got it back up to par, and he's uh, trying to check out on this field as John Holger doesn't want nothing of that. Easton Sleeper getting a little pressure there. Johnny Holter, Easton Sleeper, almost identical as they cross that finish line. Holger trying to run that inside line, trying to take over the spot from Easton Sleeper in that 213. Holger, a lot of seat time. This kid runs just about anything. He goes on the pavement one week. The next weekend, he's out west in California. Now he's in Crandon. He stays really, really busy. Yeah, sending it down that back stretch, heading to the gravel pit. So it is Holter one, Sleeper two as they head into that gravel pit. These carts look almost identical to the short course cars, but man, do they fly. Yeah, they do. It's you put them side by side and you really can't tell a difference until you get close up and look at the engine packages, but they really get up and go, especially here at Cranon. So Johnny Holcher, your leader, taking about two and a half seconds out of Easton Sleeper that, uh, that lap. Two and a half seconds quicker, crazy quick, is Johnny Holcher right now. Zachary Warhanowitz uh, sitting there in the third spot. Oh, looks like Devin Dorn might be working his way up past Zachary Rahanowicz. Which Zach looks well off the pace in that Edwards collision ride. So Holcher leading, Sleeper, Warhanowitz, and Devin Dorn in the fourth spot. Troy Johnson, Paige Warhanowitz, Antonio Inglis, and Jace Gill in the eighth spot. Zachary Rehanowitz making his way through the gravel pit turn. Behind him is Troy Johnson in that race-driven Ponzi back machine. His brother just, just winning. He has bragging rights now. He needs to get up front. It's amazing to watch his kids send it off that legendary <laughs> leaf, just absolutely hawking it. Yesterday, there were some hard hits off that, and you were talking about some of the side-by-side -side drivers bonsaiing and hitting that left front. Shot there of Zachary Rahanowitz in the 231, currently sitting there in the third spot. Troy Johnson there in the 211, trying to chase him down. Zachary Rahanowitz, his second year in the mod cart class. As we look up towards Easton Sleeper, he has company once again. Ah, down low, pushing Sleeper out a bit. Yeah, you've seen that just pushing him out on exit, but Sleeper trying to come back to the inside. Easton Sleeper. Sleeper's got the line. Don't yeah. know if it's going to be enough. Dorn going to slam the door there. Five laps to go this time by. We will have a competition caution at the halfway point. Track really drying nicely everywhere. I can't even just say on the high sections or on the bottom. Everywhere this track has really came together. And I mean, we have some high horsepower coming up. So I didn't think yesterday we wouldn't have seen much horsepower early in the day because of all the rain. But now today we get to see them in the morning. And I'll tell you what, they're going to fly, Jim, around here. So the 244, Johnny Holcher currently leading. I think we're at the mandatory competition costing, Jim. Holcher's just been gone. Yeah, as we've got the Polaris Razor Pace vehicle coming out. Polaris Razor, one of our great partners here at Crandon. 
Sounds like they've got some fun stuff planned for uh, for Labor Day and Fall Cranon, from what I understand. So yeah, nobody wants to leak any information, including Johnny Greaves. He didn't want to say anything. Johnny Greaves, he's tight-lipped. You know, I know Polaris Razor tight-lipped. We've got uh, I don't know, like everybody you talk to. Hey, I got something big for Cranon. Not telling you. Just have to show up on Tuesday. <laughs> It's crazy. Not, nobody wants to say a word about Labor Day other than it's going to be big. I know we are starting to get some driver names leak out about who's going to be here, though, and that's that's got me excited. Yeah, it gives the guy a little bit of goosebumps because it's been a while since everyone's been together, and we're going to have just about every pro driver in the country here at Cranon in the fall. I know even the cart kids, you know, the mod kids, uh, you know, the mod cart kids, a lot of them make the trek from the West Coast here for uh, Labor Day Cranon as well. So, you know, this one we've got to eight cars in it. I would say this is probably going to be 15 deep come uh, come Labor Day. Oh, definitely. Right by the barn here where we're at, if you look in the fall when you come up through the VIPs, it's amazing to see how many different semis and haulers and how many different trucks have came to the long distant ride to Cran International Off-Road Raceway. I mean, anytime you're coming from the West Coast to the East Coast, you know it's a couple day drive. Yeah, I got quite a few West Coast teams here in action this weekend. You know, obviously we've got, uh, you know, Pro Light Field. We saw a couple of uh, drivers making the trip out there. Ryan Beat. Christopher Pavorte, he really had a nice run yesterday. Yeah. R.J. Anderson, another notable. I know here come uh, Labor Day. I think Ronnie Anderson will be here as well yep. in Pro Light and UTV. So, got a shot there, Jace Gill, having some smoke early on in the day, but uh, looks like the smoke is cleared now. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, right now as we go back to green, it's Johnny Holcher, Devin Dorn, Easton Sleeper, Zachary Warhanowitz, and Paige Warhanowitz there slotting into the fifth spot. So. Uh, Paige, maybe she's got something in the tank for uh, for her brother. Yeah, they, they have pretty equal of trucks, so we'll see if Paige can sneak her way through. Zach just seems to be off the pace today. I don't know what it is, something, maybe an issue with the truck or just has a different setup, but now he's going to prove me wrong trying to go on that outside. Yeah, putting a little pressure on Sleeper there. And look at the teammates there, Devin Dorn, Johnny Holcher side by side. Yeah, this will be a good battle. The teammates to HBI car. Oh man, issues for Easton Sleeper once again, the 213. Tough break, Easton Sleeper having a great run today. And Devin Dorn trying to hunt down the 244 of Johnny Holger. Devin Dorn had a good run yesterday, trying to put a top spot finish, but it's not gonna be easy. Johnny's been very, very fast. Pace vehicle out. Gonna get Easton Sleeper cleaned up there. A mock of tools, truck, bell helmets, man. Oh, something wrong. Look at that left rear's really collapsed. I think he broke something in the left rear. Zachary Hanowitz, Edwards collision truck, Jim. That looks pretty bad. Yeah, tough break having a having a podium type run. But uh, you know, I guess the good news is for his sister Paige, she moves into podium <laughs> convention now. Thank you. <laughs> Paige into the third spot. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Good to see Paige on the podium if we if we get a chance to see that. I think Devin has anything for Johnny. I mean, he was running his pace, but if Johnny don't make a mistake, it's pretty hard to go around him. Yeah, Johnny Holcher, he's... Uh... I don't know how you call a, a kid like that a veteran, but he, uh, he he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Smart kid, great driver. Definitely got a big future in off-road. Oh, definitely a good talker as well. I mean, he's on the top spot yesterday, and he flows very well. He knows what he wants to do. He just keeps driving everything. One other thing to note, though, is uh, fourth place currently, Antonio Inglés, actually the fastest lap on track last go-around came from our driver now in the fourth spot, Antonio. Wow. 
So he's actually running a quicker pace than Johnny Holcher, even our leader. So uh, definitely one to watch as we go back to green flag. Watch that fourth place truck. Could try and slingshot here on this restart with only a couple laps remaining. We'll have to wait and see. I think our pace car should turn off to the left of your camera. Pace vehicle is off. Johnny Holcher gonna take us back to green. You watching these top four trucks? Boy, the flag man waited right until the end to throw that restart green flag and didn't take Johnny Holger long to get on that hard pedal, man. He's, he's trying to run away and hide. And we got five in. We're going eight here in Mod Cart, Rugged Radio Mod Cart. Those two HBI trucks just on another wow. level. You see Devin Dorn came in, just gave Johnny a little bit of a love tap into those braking bumps, and that's not in where, uh, not a good place where you want to play touch. Yeah, looks like got that rear fender coming loose on Johnny Holter's truck. That little love tap gave Johnny a big gap here, exiting that finish line turn. He's opened up about a four or five car length lead and that right fender just dancing around. You don't know if that thing's gonna hold on for the rest of the race, but me and you know, Jim, that's just fiberglass. It's replaceable, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely, just fiberglass. A little bit of a gap there for Johnny Holter in the lead right now. These top two trucks are very equal and Paige Rahanowitz, we can't forget about her. She's having a heck of a run to open the season in the 205 Edwards collision car. Yeah, she's currently hanging there in uh, the third spot. Antonio putting a little pressure on her, but uh, she's still got a pretty decent gap. Two laps to go this time by for Johnny Holger. Well out in front, Devin Dorn kind of losing track of Johnny in the HBI ride. Yeah, Johnny Holcher just setting the fast lap of the day on that last pass, 56.997. So best time of the day in mod carts so far comes from Johnny Holcher. He's getting quicker as this race goes on. Yeah, it tells you one thing. This track is really shaping up to be a speedway. Got a shot there of uh, Paige getting a little pressure there from Antonio. Antonio Iglesias really showing that inside, trying to make it work, and Paige just very, very fast. All right, Paige keeping Antonio in her rear view mirror. Only got a couple of laps remaining. She's trying to hang on. White flag is out. So current leader Johnny Holcher, Devin Dorn in the second spot. Paige Warhanowitz trying to hang on for a podium finish, but she is getting a lot of pressure there. So we go back to our leader. That is Johnny Holcher just on another level today. Continue to dominate here in the Rugged Radio Mod Card division. That fender's still hanging on. Slide through the gravel pit one more time. Got one big corner to go. Johnny Holcher going to try and hang on to this thing. His race to lose at this point is going to take a spin. For Devin Dorn to get back in this, I don't think it's going to happen. Johnny Holcher on rails today in Rugged Radio Mod Cart. As the checkered flag comes out, Johnny Holcher going to take the victory here in Rugged Radio Mod Cart. HBI teammate Devin Dorn going to finish up in the second spot. Here comes Paige, Jim. That looks like Paige Rahanowitz going to hang on. Got to give her credit with pressure from Antonio Inglis. Takes the third and final podium spot. So it is Holcher, Dorn, Rahanowitz, one, two, three, and Rugged Radio Modcart. All right, so Rugged Radio Mod Cart wrapping up. We're gonna send those kids down to the podium with Tiffany Stone here momentarily, but uh, you know, looking at things, we are getting cranking here at Cran and running on time, running uh, 
running. We got some solid races in the books already, and I got to tell you, today is uh, not going to disappoint one bit. Uh, as soon as Rugged Radio Mod Carts wraps up, we're going to roll into Lunderville Steel Stock Trucks. Then at 12:20, the magical lunch hour here at Cranon. We're going to have Pro Fours on track at 12:20. Pro Twos on track at 12:55. Then we're going to roll into Miller Lite 1600 light buggy and Lincoln Electric 1600 buggy. Then bringing out some more V8 horsepower with the Mountain Dew Super Stock trucks at 240. Then some side-by-side -side racing for the next hour. It'll be Vision Wheel Sportsman Stock side-by-side, -side, Pro Stock side-by-side, -side, and Pro Mod side-by-side. -side. Then at 5 o'clock, more of the Pro classes come out. We got Ponzi Super Buggy and Pro Light with everything culminating at 610 with the 26th Annual Forest County Potawatomi Community Cup Challenge. Long day of racing. Long, great day of racing. Great way to spend your Father's Day here at Cranon at the Big House. Don't forget, if you are in attendance and uh, you're throwing up your pictures on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, make sure and tag us. Tag us here at Crandon and use the hashtag Crandon Live. Use the hashtag Crandon Live. That way we can search and see your pictures. We like to see what, uh, what the fans see out of here. Down here, I always love talking to Paige, and Paige is always like, Tiffany, I never want to talk to you. But you've done it here another year. We're back at Crandon. I love how you never give up. You continue, you continue, and you push, and that is the moral of the story. You never know what's going to happen in that last turn, and you've done it. Walk us through the entire weekend. Well, last, well, yesterday, I had a pretty good run. Then we did the restart, so then I didn't, I was in the back. Try to get to the front again, didn't work out the best. Just did the same thing yesterday, I mean today, and just worked and I never gave up, kept pushing to make it to the front. Well, you've done it and it's great to see that. And like you were saying, you know, with so many restarts, you have a game plan and then you restart. Then you're like, okay, I got that good, you know, hole shot, but then I got to restart. And so that's got to be a little mentally draining. Well, you've Pulled it together, full circle today, third place spot. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my dad and happy Father's Day to him. And then Race Driven, Edwards Collision Center, Hilltop RV, uh, and then my mom and dad, and my spotters and all of those sponsors. 
Well, you've done a great job. Hop off number three. Congratulations to you, Paige. Woo! Taking the second place spot. He did it yesterday and he's done it again. Devin Dorn. Devin, nice job right over here. You've done it. Back to back second place. Obviously, you're going after Johnny. You're trying to run him down and whatnot. What did you learn overall weekend that's going to get you ready for the second round? Well, I learned that it's hard to drive without a clutch because my clutch handle broke halfway through the race and I was just pedaling around there and making mistakes and somehow I still managed to get second. Well, you've done it and, and that is quite a feat, you know, having your clutch break halfway through and then trying to figure that all out. Well, you've done it here. Who would you like to thank? Um, my mom, my dad, my grandma and grandpa, John and Dan for, mm, I did it again. Um, <laughs> Air Auto, Holter Brothers, Metro Auto Body, Trailer, these three automobiles else that gets me here. Well, you've done here back-to-back second place podium finishes. Hop up on number two. And taking the top spot again, he did yesterday in the 244 of Johnny Holcher. Johnny, I told you you couldn't pop up on number one because you'd be way too tall for me. You know, you've done a great thing here. Obviously, you're very dialed in in your uh, mod cart. Is there anything you want to change for the next uh, round, or are you just going to keep it this way because you know how it's going to run? Well, we definitely need to change something because Devin was right on me, so we need to figure something out. But otherwise, it was a fun race. The track was pretty rough, but just drove through it and ended up here. Who would you like to thank for making you do two top podium spots in Crandon? Uh, my mom and dad, my grandma and grandpa, HBI, Renard's Cheese, Mod Kids USA, Motivate, Kicker, um, Victory Sign, Me Method, Maxis, Holtry Motorsports, and anyone else I forgot, thank you. Well, you've done it here, Johnny, taking two top spots. Hop up on number one, and one more round of applause for your top three finishers in mod carts. Back up to you guys. Thanks a lot, Tiff, and uh, yeah, great uh, run there by Johnny Holcher, that kid uh, just on rails this weekend.